Just 40 miles from the nation's capital and little over a mile away from City Hall, residents of the Edgar Allan Poe homes in West Baltimore say they have not had adequate running water for the past week. It's a trickle. Um, it's coming out. Um, like I said, Wednesday, we can't even flush our toilets, um, can't take baths, you know, so it's a real, right now, uh, crisis uh, situation, and I'll show you. City officials announced water was restored late Saturday, but as one resident showed us, the water pressure remains very low. Water is just trickling out of this faucet. Water is it's coming out. This is really said that's fixed. Uh, it's not coming out. It's, that's all we have. The pressure may not be up to optimum until, you know, it's, it's unknown. So that's why they, they offered uh, residents to, to be relocated. Many said the conditions would not be tolerated in more affluent areas. Volunteers have stepped up with donations, food, and even mobile shower facilities. Stall has its own shampoo, soap, and um, um, conditioner. Um, they get their towels, they go in there. I'll open up a stall for you so you can actually take a look at it. Enjoy the view. As you can see, we make it as homey as possible. The water main break um, happened um, Sunday night into Monday morning. And um, from what I was told, the city did not respond until Thursday, Friday. So it, it's almost five days before the city had any resources down here to, um, um, to um, help the people. Quite unfortunate. No city in America should have to deal with this type of crisis for so long. Yeah, things happen, but it's been a week. And, and so my question is, what is the city, you know, do they have the proper resources to tackle this problem and bring it to an end? But the failing water lines point to decades of disinvestment from public housing, exacerbated by slow response from city officials. For The Real News, this is Jessel Noor in Baltimore.